Hi, we're continuing our series on how to create new courses in Moodle. If you've been following along in the last few movies, I created a new course and filled out the general settings and the description down here. Today, we're going to look at the next section, which is course format. I'll open that up. So right now, you can see that it's set to the weekly format and we've got 10 sections or weeks and uh, let's take a look at what that looks like the, these are kind of the default settings that we've got set up so far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on save and display that will take us to the course itself so right now you see there's 10 sections here each one's represented by a week now they don't show anything inside here like if you were to click on these and by the way the reason this is highlighted is because this is the current week um, anyway there's nothing here because we haven't actually edited the course content yet um, this would probably be a handy way of displaying a course if you were following some sort of schedule you can actually rename these uh, headlines if you wanted to um, but in my case I actually want to change the format so it's more topical than chronological so I'm going to do that by going back over here to the left to the administration block and I'm going to go under course administration and click edit settings and so here we are back on the course settings page I'm just going to collapse the general section and the description section. I don't need to see those right now. And I'm going to open up course format. So let's take a look at the choices here. Um, I'm going to pick topics format. Maybe in the later series of videos we'll look at these single activity and social format. But for right now I'm going to pick topics and then okay and then what happened was it refreshed in case you were wondering what happened there um, okay so I'm just trying to see if there was some reason why I expanded the general section but looks like there's nothing there um, for the sections I'm going to change this to seven to match the number of videos that I've already produced then for the hidden sections, I'm going to change this to be completely invisible, just to see what a difference that makes. And then for course layout, instead of showing all the sections like we saw before, um, I'm going to do one section per page. Okay, so let's click uh, Save and Display and see what that does okay so here we go we have a different format you notice that you don't see anything highlighted in blue that's because it's no longer following a chronological format and you notice how everything is labeled uh, by topics and uh, just for fun let's see what happens if you click inside one of these topics okay so we don't really see anything however um, we do see pagination that allows us to go um, to the next topic and we can go back and so forth. Anyway, that's it for uh, this course. Uh, or not this course, sorry. That's it for this video. And uh, when we come back, we'll probably take a look at what's next um, in the settings, which would be appearance. We'll take a look at that, see if there's anything that important to change. And um, if that's a real short video, maybe we'll cover files and uploads. Anyway, hope uh, you're enjoying these videos, and I'll see you next time.